okay now we are going to discuss java threads that means java is a programming language which supports threads so before i have a detailed discussion on threads we should know what is the meaning of multi thread programming and multi processing that means uh, what is the difference between thread and process okay a process or program means suppose that the executable program is there then if you want to execute that program you have to allocate memory for that and you have to load that into the uh, memory allocated for that and after that it will start execution of the program that means some memory has to be allocated for uh, for the execution of the program so a number of programs can be uh, run at the same time for example suppose that you are uh, running a cd player and and at the same time you can browse the internet so these these are two programs a cd player uh, program and your browser these are two different programs you can do that at the same time because that uh, operating system supports multi processing a process means a program in execution that means your cd player is actually it's a program and that is uh, that is allocated some space in the main memory of the computer and the browser is also allocated some other portion of the memory then you can uh, at the same time uh, it is both are processing at the same time okay that is called multi processing process is a process is a program in execution that means a processor allocated memory for its code area data area and stack area and oh, oh, for all all those um, all those parts of the program memory has to be allocated but what is the difference between a process and a thread for example suppose that you are browsing the internet and browser is actually it's a program and your browser you can open different different windows for the for example suppose that you can have many number of windows for for the same browser okay so that is using multi threading that means same program that means your uh, internet browser is the same program in that you are going to have different different window means those are different different threads that means for the same program different different uh, processing uh, that means if you are creating a process then uh, that will be allocated some other part of the part and some other data area and stack area will be allocated and control is transferred to that and if you want another thread then you can have another th thread etc that means the main program the code area is the same code area is the same but your data that means in one window you are browsing say your ktu portal and in some other uh, one you are uh, you may be using uh, youtube and in some other uh, window you, are, you may be using some other thing that means these are different ways of execution of the same program that means for the same program you can have many threads okay so java now we are uh, going on to java threads and java is a programming language it supports multi threaded programming uh, process is a program in execution but process uh, when you are talking about a process they are all different different programs but thread means thread is actually uh, it's a, a different instances of the same program a thread is a lightweight process a thread is a sub part of a process that can run individually this is the life cycle stages of a thread in java a new thread that means thread thread is, there is a thread class thread class and suppose that in a, when you are executing a program suppose that a thread is initiated then uh, an exact replica of the thread is generated and that thread is a new thread two thread and a runnable means that means 
that thread is having an entry point and if it is runnable that means if the process or if the processor is allocating memory for that that will uh, enter into a runnable state that means runnable means that can be executed that can be executed and running means runnable means that it is ready for execution it is ready for execution means that thread is waiting for the processor uh, to run the program that means it is ready that means once that thread is ready we call it as runnable and if processor is allocated processor time is allocated for that then it can it, it will be in the running stage running stage and if in the running stage suppose that sleep wait suspend or join that kind of uh, that kind of operations it will do then it will be in blocked stage for example this is uh, uh, the next uh, statement is say wait for five seconds then uh, that will be in blocked state and it will wait for uh, some amount of time and it will come back to the runnable uh, stage uh, or sleep wait or suspend join etc these are all different that means uh, when you are running a program if such a kind of uh, execution or such a kind of instructions are coming then what will happen it will switch to a block state and once that process is completed it will come back to the runnable stage and once you have completed the running phase that means execution completed that means that thread is dead that means the using thread we can create a new thread and it will enter the runnable state and if proce the processing time is allocated then it will enter the running stage and after completion of the process if the execution is completed and it, it will go to uh, it will enter a dead state and in, if in the running process if uh, some uh, statement some um, instructions like yield, sleep, wait, suspend, join etc then it will uh, come back to the runnable state again it will uh, it when processor time is allocated again for that it will enter into again the running state so this is the uh, life cycle stages of a thread